Greetings. All praise King Silasi. Speaking about ISIS. Where is it going? At the moment, it's not been much said about it. <clears throat> it was obviously an embarrassment. A few years ago, people were hearing a lot about this group. It was the, the, the global threat that was what the intelligence agents uh, were telling us through their communication channel. Previous to that, it was Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda was growing. And, you know, that can be verified. Even, you know, the, the uh, United States president said this, Al-Qaeda was a threat. And then the situation in Syria happened. Whereas there was a need for recruitment uh, because the objective was to eliminate Bashar al-Assad that he had given an interview in 2006 declaring the state that calls itself Israel to be illegitimate as well as controlling the region of Golan Heights that is sought after uh, by one company, Genie Limited, out of New Jersey, uh, having the uh, shareholders, the board members being Rupert Murdoch, Dick Cheney, and Jacob Ratchow. And there was a pact made in 1993 with this company, with the U.S. military, to secure a portion of this region that is said to be rich and mineral resources. Now this region is also in direct uh, route of Europe from the Middle East, Iraq, which was seized. And so the, there's a, a desire to place a pipeline through it. That was being obstructed by the Shah al-Assad, uh, what is called the Alawite regime. Now, possibly there may have been some business interest between the Shah al-Assad and the European powers in the past. Those have pretty much unraveled. And at this point, you know, they've looked to eliminate this, this person. You know, the projection through the communication channel is that he's a dictator and a tyrant. And he's oppressed this people. Uh, this was stuff that was not being said up until, you know, this push to eliminate him. And then the, on the flip note, the other agents are saying that, no, there's no push to eliminate him. And even the, you know, major communication channels are saying um, you know, that, that, that they're looking to possibly work with him or something. But this, this is not anything to be taken seriously. Um, they, they, the, the, the powers, the, you know, that, that uh, control the capital of the world banks would like to see him gone and that is their primary focus uh, not only are they looking to contain the region uh, yet to s establish their their system their rule which is the rule of the beast and it's no rule at all it's the law of the lawless and if you subject yourself onto this democracy, then you are being ruled by lawlessness. And it functions to enrich those few individuals now. New, new, new news 
about a chemical attack is coming up. That you know, there's a need for a conventional warfare. And this was something that cropped up a few times. It didn't have the support though. And right now there, there's a process underway, a kind of prepping exercise to bring people to that place of worship and servitude of the peace, which is democracy. And there's a there has to be trust between people and their what, what's being what's called the government. And so, you know, yes, and they crucified the Christ because they were able to use the people as the, the mechanisms. And then they were able to take the accountability off themselves. There's a few individuals on this earth that, you know, they rule over people. They know it. But their thing is like, they're not, they're not boasting about their position. Um, they are, <clears throat> they're hiding. Everything's a secret. You know, many of these operations you know, ha ha are, are, are being done in secret. And uh, this is no exception. You know, that's why it's called a covert war, because it's, it's a secret thing where you know, you sent in uh, these recruits that were picked up because they were seeing these images of this glorious state of, of jihad. And, they, you know, they were lured in. The images that, that people see here, perhaps, are different. You know, so based on where people are, and based on the individual self, uh, those projections are catered. And, you know, when I say based on the individual, this ties into the input to output mapping, numerical sequencing codification process, uh, which will categorize each individual based on their so-called personality, sometimes called psychographic profiling. And this, this is the, the, the means to uh, to the individual and so you know when you have an impression about something it's based on basically what you've seen and what you've heard and if you search ISIS and sometimes you don't even have to search ISIS you just search Syria and ISIS comes up in the images and they're beheading people this is what is being what I you know I don't if you're searching for Syria and you're seeing a beheading, that is being forced on you. Now, I myself, Nazarite, um, object to this. And this is, uh, is an attack. And no one should take this any differently. That even if you're searching for something, you know, like a shirt, and you get a picture of a porn star, that's an attack. Now, the, uh, the, uh, what the Babylonian said would well, you don't you don't have to search for anything but then what do you what are you just supposed to just be ignorant about everything that goes on around you when everyone else is using their device you know and and, and people are actually being told that yes you have to adapt to this technology to survive in the future so, and so but these projections are forming an opinion you're getting an impression about what you see and that's going to carry with you now the projections that other people are seeing in other places in the world are not the same. So they're getting different impressions. So cultures are being molded and shaped in this way. And this was the mechanism to recruit these, these, these people for these covert armies that ended up turning against each other. And that was the, what we had spoke about at length in previous videos over the past years is that this had blown up in Babylon's face because Babylon thought they had control over all these groups and they were using their devices, of course, and the drones to suck up the information. And they were saying, oh, you know who's doing what? But it got out of hand. They fought against each other. A lot of energy was spent. Um, they didn't have the power at that point to, uh, to be able to finish the job. 
So there was a need for this conventional warfare. And, oh, this chemical attack happens now. Um, and again, this is repeating itself. The uh, pedophile spokespeople are talking about that we're seeing these pictures of these children. You know, and these people just laugh. They laugh about it because they know that they're they're, they're persuading people, that people are buying what they're selling, that they think that these people uh, really care. And, and a lot of that is because they can't see past their own eyes, that they only base their judgment off of everything they see, and they know not what is unseen. And they know not of these spiritual existences. And, you know, so they'll see someone that looks like them, maybe speaks like them, okay? Or acts like them, or has a little story. Oh yeah, I was like real, it was, things were real tough growing up. You know, these, these, are, these, are, these are models. They're models, like on a runway, you know? They say the right thing, they, they got the right things on, they, they driving up in the right thing. Um, but they're also models to follow for other people to model themselves after. And so people look at these people with you know, esteem, say, hey, I admire this person. And, and so the, you know, these people can pretty much say whatever. But there's no difference between the politician and the actor and the CEO. Because the CEO is a spokesperson for the corporation, so his job is just to play that, that role for the public relations. And that's an act. Yeah, so, kind of the act is up. And, um, you know, the British um, seem to concede. However, that was just a ploy to bring the guards down of their adversary for this final push, which is now being called a converging of nations, a NATO alliance 